What's up YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this Monday evening. I'm doing real good myself. Uh, I come across this story right here about this Michigan driver who deliberately struck kill retiree so he could have sex with her body. This is just how sick this society has become. It's the people in it, okay? And this is the low life who is alleged to have done this right here. Uh, when we're out in public, people, we have to make sure we watch our backs, okay? I mean, y'all got to watch these motherfuckers, whether they walk in, whether they appear to be talking to somebody else or on the phone, whatever they're doing, driving, because you just never know what they could be thinking, okay? This sick motherfucker right here, Kobe Martin, was arrested for striking and killing a retired woman who was jogging near the Oak Shores campground on September 20th, okay? It's my first time even hearing about this story right here. Uh, and I do think they gave this motherfucker a bail, you know? Let's get into this story. This is sick, man. A Michigan driver deliberately struck and killed a retired woman who was out on her daily walk so he could have sex with her body. Authorities have alleged, according to reports, the suspect identified as Kobe Martin, 29, of White Pigeon, Michigan, was arraigned Wednesday in Van Buren District Court on, new, on a newly filed murder charge. WMMTV, well, excuse me, WMMT TV of Grand Rapids reported. See, this is the kind of shit that we have out in public now. So, you know, you don't want to go and approach a woman and get to know her, you understand, and, and let things happen naturally, you know, and have sex like that. What you want to do is just go run a woman down with your fucking truck, your car, you understand, I mean, incapacitate her, either by killing her or make her, you know, where she's unable to fight back or anything, and, and you just have your way with her sexually. Here's another one that need to march straight to the death chamber, okay? Let's continue. Some media reports have named the victim, but Fox News is withholding her identity because of the nature of the allegations, okay? Uh, Martin was previously charged in September with manslaughter and concealing a body, WMMT reported. The driver struck the jogger as she was near the Oak Shores campground on September 20th, the report said. He then moved the body to a wooded area where he allegedly committed the sex acts, authorities said, according to the station. Martin led investigators to the site the next day, the report said. Okay? And see, that's when they should have took your ass and led you straight to the death chamber. You can do all that and then show somebody where you did it at you confess to the shit, you understand? But to continue, authorities added the murder charge this month after examining DNA evidence and the suspect's online search history, which includes searches for pornography involving dead or unconscious women, WMMT reported. So he's a necrophiliac, a sick piece of shit that should be put to death anyway. Now, let me tell y'all something. <laughs> I'm going to paint a scenario about restaurants. Okay. You know, a lot of people, you know, well, I, I mean, I'm guilty of it too. I, I was, I don't do it anymore like I used to. But when you go out in a restaurant, you don't know who you are sharing utensils, plates, and cups with. You see my point. You see what I'm talking about? And we trust that they're washing those dishes and all of that kind of stuff and been some sick low life piece of shit like there's just ate off a fork that you finna eat off of. Just think about it. You know what I mean? This is another reason why I said fuck restaurants. Okay? That's just what it is. Now to continue, Martin's vehicle, a 2013 Ford F-150, has severe front end damage when investigators first encountered him at a Walmart store in Ostimo uh, Tom, Township the day after the crime, the report said the suspect was found to have the woman's cell phone and he allegedly made attempts to conceal other evidence linked to the crime according to the report 
Prior to the murder charge, Martin was free on a $300,000 bond. Following the new charge, he was returned to custody but denied bond and was being held in the Van Buren County Jail pending further legal actions, the station reported. The suspect was arrested several days ago at his girlfriend's home in Big Rapids, uh, WMMT reported. So you got a woman and you down here running women down just and killing them and screwing their bodies. What kind of fucking woman would want to even be with this? She's that damn desperate? This is some sick shit. This is something to be taken serious here, okay? In conclusion here, Martin's lawyer said he didn't believe the new murder charges was justified according to the station. We're still waiting for reports and more evidence from the prosecutor's office. From a legal standpoint, I'm not seeing the increase in charges will be justified, attorney Jim McKeel said, all right? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, well, it goes on to say right here, Van Buren County Sheriff's Dan Abbott said an investigation was continuing with his department expecting to obtain more information about the case, WMMT reported, okay? This motherfucker right here, low life piece of shit, zombie eye looking bastard. He needs to be put down. He's he, he he needs to be put down. If you did this right here, if you took your your truck and ran this woman down, killing her and then moving her body half sex with her in the wooded area, you need to be put to death. They, it, it, I mean, damn, where do you start just? Saying, okay, enough's enough. You know what I'm saying? It's time to start upping the penalties on these sick motherfuckers in society. I mean, that's just the way I feel about it. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this story. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts, views, and opinions on it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. People, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched. Simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.